Welcome to the Black Mountain of Maine, an historic ski area in the heart of Western Maine. We are here with the NMU girls team, asking them what their race strategy and next goals in life are for this 2012 season. And now we spin to Jordan Ross, a sophomore on the ski team from Lakeville, South Minnesota. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. We're just getting done with breakfast here. It's about 9 o'clock here in good old Maine. The sun is shining, but it's still negative 2 outside. Freezing. But we know how to deal with this. So, tomorrow, we get this 10K skate. So excited! 10K skate! <laughs> and so, race strategy for tomorrow. Hmm. Let's see. Hopefully, we have about a 2.5K loop. So we get to do that about four times. Uh, that'll be exciting, because then you know what it is. It's not a really a surprise any time. You just keep going and going, and you just somehow end up back at the stadium every time. So you just race every lap as hard as you can go into the hills. Just don't slide on any ice or fall, and then you should be good, right? Yes. Next, we spend a Monica Marvaxen to ask her race strategy. And her thoughts on the next few months of the 2012 season. Monica is a junior on the team from Roslyn, B.C., British Columbia, Canada. Welcome. Well, our goals for the 2012 season are to always look our best. That's why we will be racing all year with fancy headbands and scarves. <laughs> My race strategy for tomorrow is to look the very best out there and hopefully win the best looking team award again. And Monica, what are your thoughts as captain of this fine quadsum we have racing here? Well, as captain, I think we have a really good chance of winning the hottest ski team award. I think we have some really good looking girls with us here this year and so I don't think it'll be any problem. <laughs> and now to Libby Ellis, another junior on our lovely uh, NMU team here. Libby Ellis is slightly retarded. And from South Minneapolis, which is in Minnesota, we'll spin to her. Please be considerate. They've never been on camera before. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um. Well, my goal, <laughs> my goal is to to finish the race, and I've really been working on my classic technique because I've um only classic twice before, and I'm really working on not looking so weird all the time because Monica's been yelling at me. <laughs> Because I'm not pretty enough for the team, and I might get cut if I don't, like, start stepping up my game. So Monica's been teaching me how to put on makeup and wear nice clothing, but I just really like this dress. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> and now me. Uh... Rosie Frankowski, I'm a sophomore skiing, and I would like to tell you my secret to racing good. Onions for breakfast with ketchup. Lots and lots of ketchup. And the advice Sten has given us on this race. Two and a half K loops, right, right, so you go around four times, right, right. You can hide those two laps in the woods, those middle two laps. Just sneak away. We're all small. That's the advantage our team has over all the other ones. You can't even it's see us. And we have nice camouflaged uniforms. If you haven't noticed, we just our uniforms a few years ago to a nice evergreen green, like the nice hills of Maine. Libby Ellis will demonstrate. So Sten has been preaching to us. You just jump into those woods. You pop out when you see the winners coming through. <laughs> and then you ski as fast as you can to the end. This might be our strategy for the 20K, too. <laughs> and now, with a finishing touch from Jordan Ross. We're still in Maine! 